Here I am doing another first for me, at least. No idea how this is going to turn out. This is going to be pear and rye kvass, K-V-A-S-S. -S. I'm getting a lot of my ideas off of the University of YouTube. Of course, of course. Um, one of the biggest people that I really love to follow is Mary's Nest. I keep saying that. I got some of the idea, not this exact thing, but some of the idea from her. Or Rain Country. So that y'all can look these things up or just do a YouTube search on Kavas, K-V-A-S-S-S, -S -S, I mean. And it originated in Russia with rye bread. Now the difference here, this has sesame seeds on it. I'm not going to bother taking them off. It was saying you stale bread. Well, this was day old whenever I bought it. And I sort of stuck it in the toaster oven. So this is win or fail. You, you never win if you don't even try anything. No, you won't fail either. But hey, that's how you learn to walk so to speak. You take a step, you're probably going to fall. But anyway, here we're going to go. This is some, I'm hoping these are organic, but it may not be. It's some, I can't tell if I'm even in the view. I need somebody to help me do these. So what I'm going to do, it, I've already washed them really thoroughly with that wash that I use, which is vinegar, just white vinegar, water, it's like one part white vinegar, four parts water, three or four parts water. And I don't measure. I'm so sorry. I just don't. And then I put some lemon juice in case there are some dust and things on here. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to begin this. I'm not going to have you just sit and watch the entire thing. I'm going to begin to cut this up. The only thing I'm going to discard is just that little end and I may just, next time, I may just simply take that little piece of a stem off. I may, I think I will get rid of the seeds. I can't remember if they got rid of the seeds before or not. <clears throat> but these were free pears, and they were each individually wrapped. So that tells me that's usually those kind that you order gift packages and whatever. So I'm just going to take that out. I don't think you have to. But what I'm going to do is give myself a little bit of surface. I'm just going to do this in thirds. But follow Mary's Nest. Look this up and see how she does. And this is a half gallon jar. And I'm just going to, yeah, in fact this, I'm just going to take that off. And that way there's no waste. However, knowing me, I'm going to dehydrate some of this anyhow. Y'all, I'm trying so many different things. And forgive me if some days I don't, I go days on end without posting. I'm trying so much new stuff and I'm trying to share with you as I go. But hey, I'm old. I don't have it together. <clears throat> Here again, I probably didn't need to do that. But what I'm going to do is three or four pairs. I'm going to play it by ear. And before I put you on pause or stop here to do more, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some of those. Now here is the stale bread. Boy, it's crumbling every which way. It's going every which way. And I'm just going to crumble it up in there. I wish this, the mouth of the, I wish the mouth of this was as big as my mouth. Just saying. Because I could sure... Get this in easier. I'm not measuring. This may be a complete fail. That's why I say follow. Go to Mary's Nest and follow her. She is, I don't know, she's so nice and encouraging. And I can't remember if Ashley with uh, Midlife Misadventures, if she does that, this too. I don't know. I love following people like that that are encouraging. And I'm going to stick a few raisins in there along the way. I will say I'm disappointed these are regular raisins. They are not organic, and I think that's one of the reasons I'm having a little bit of... Um, I've done a, a second batch of raisin vinegar, 
and it's just not wanting to ferment. And I know there's nothing wrong with raisin vinegar. I follow too many people that do it. So I think the trick is, in some cases, splurge a little bit. These were free. And get you organic. Because I am not getting the fermentation that I'm supposed to be having on my vinegar. And again, I say, I know there's no problem with the fact of making vinegar, uh, raisin vinegar. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to put you on pause here. All right, I'm going to bring you back in here a minute. Look at all this. I don't know if you can see. It looks like missile testing or something done, done here. That breadcrumbs went everywhere. But, hey, I'm at least sometimes entertaining. And this is showing you real. This is real and hardcore. Sometimes life is messy. Sometimes your kitchen is messy. Now, I'm going to just sort of crunch that up. I am going to not overfill this. I might shouldn't even be doing this. <clears throat> but what I'm, what I'm going to do, where's my lid? That's ridiculous. I still had the, I'm going to use one of these plastic lids. Now what I'm going to do right now is just kind of shake it up. Again, this is pear. There's a little bit of the onion. Oh, onion. Listen to me. Oh, a mind is a terrible thing to lose. There's the raisins and then the rye bread. I'm going to kind of shake it up a little bit. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, I didn't know you couldn't sing. That's what my smart out friends used to say. <laughs> okay, now, <clears throat> I, whenever I was at mom's yesterday, she's got filtered water we have well water and the well is pretty good so we don't have city water i don't have to worry about chlorine and fluoride and all this other mass they're putting in there but i just thought i'm i'm fine usually using the tap water i thought let me while i'm going down to mama's anyway i'll get some of this salt filtered water it's filtered through salt supposedly not a bunch of chemicals now I'm just going to put the water in. Fill it up. Fill her up. Fill it up to about here. Oop. Hopefully that is enough. I didn't put any sugar in here because Miss Mary didn't. Because pears and... Well, I don't know why because... Watch Mary, watch, watch a professional, <laughs> or watch Heidi, like I said, at Rain Country, or um, Doug and Stacy. Watch people that know what they're doing, for Pete's sake. Now, I have to say, I am very pleased with what I'm learning, and I, I do cut up sometimes, and I love that. Life is too serious. Life is too serious. I'm very serious when it comes to some things like heaven and hell and our Savior and things like that. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to put a little bit more water. This is going to be a anaerobic fermentation, not an aerobic. I'm going to put this on there, and I'm not going to tighten, tighten it. But I'm just going to leave this every day. Again, follow the professional. Every day, Miss Mary says you come in, you sort of twist that a little bit because it will start fermenting quickly and you'll release some of the O2, some of the gases. I am interested to try this and see how it goes. I am loving experimenting with some of these. Like, oh, hold the phone, back up, back up. I forgot this. <clears throat> you know, it's a good thing that this is coming to you free, right? Because of flavor, I'm going to put a cinnamon stick in. And the other thing, all, all seriousness aside, I want people to know 
people like me, I may be old, but I'm new to almost all of this. And if a person can be, can learn, the old dog learn new tricks, then I think you can too. I'm going to put out a couple, literally like two or three garlic. She said, not garlic, cloves. Come on. I'm not going to have to take my shoes off or something. Oh, there you go, three. I, that's all I'm going to put in there. Just for a flavor. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. How can you go wrong with cinnamon and garlic? All right, I'm going to start one last time. It may look nasty. Let's hope at the end of it, it's not going to taste nasty. It can be ready in as quick as two days or up to five days or so. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to clean this counter to where it won't look like missile testing has been going on. You know, I'm going to check back with you. Okay, today is Thanksgiving Day, the 28th of November. Happy Thanksgiving. This will be after the fact because this is not done today. But I began this on the 26th. So technically, this is, if you consider the 26th as one day, I don't know how you count it. But anyway, this is 26, 27, 28, the third day. I've already burped this whenever I got up this morning. But I'm wanting to show y'all, in case anybody tries this, I didn't know what to expect. Let's see if it makes another noise. I've already burped at one time. Did you hear that noise at all? But what I mainly was sharing, because I don't know about anyone else, but I'm one of these that thinks, oh my gosh, have I done something wrong? I left room at the top. And this is fermented so much that it literally is at the top. And I noticed yesterday evening on the counter it was wet. And I thought, okay, what the what? What the what? So I put a bowl up under it. And it was a little bit wet this morning. So don't let this surprise you. And since this is an anaerobic, meaning it stays closed, not tightly closed, the only way you want to do it tight is whenever you're shaking it, which I already did that. And here's, as I even took the lid off, it went down the sides. So, perfectly normal and natural. Now, I'm going to just fingertip, secure it. It's not tight. And then in a later this evening, I may burp it again. I don't know. But just... Just wanting you to know, I question everything. I doubt myself constantly, especially whenever I'm new at something. Okay, we will see how this goes. This is day three of my pear and rye bread kvass. I will say, let me see if I can, I put it in this little bowl and there is a lot of juice has overflowed in there and you can still do, see this actively working but according to Mary's nest this is the third day so I'm going to actually she suggested beginning to taste it on the second day but the second day was Thanksgiving and so this is Friday the day after Thanksgiving I'm going to shut my pie hole and see if you can hear as I burp this. Huh, I heard nothing. Strange. Well, I heard the dog bark is what I heard. Hmm. It says begin to taste it. This is still just really bubbling up and over. Hmm. I think I'm going to pull this up now. 
I've not tasted anything like it. If you remember from the very first of the video, this has really come up a lot. I'm still seeing what looks like fermentation going in there. But on this first patch, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. <clears throat> and I'm going to use one of these flower sack towels that I bought. Again, that I learned about from Mary's Nest. At this time, I'm going to remember to wet it so that all of the, it doesn't absorb as much out of the juice itself. Ha! I can't believe I remembered that. Usually I wake up forgetting everything. Let's see if this is going to be a clown show. <laughs> I'm just going to strain this through here. I don't know if you even really have to go to all this trouble. I hope the lighting is okay because it's a dark overcast day. Now, I'm just going to... Wow, that's a lot of juice in that bowl. I need a better bowl to put this in. Ah, now we got it. This makes me wish I had a compost pile or there's my cinnamon or that I had maybe chickens or something. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna do this up. My hands are washed. I've had the driest hands ever because I'm making this stuff and I'm washing and washing and washing and washing. I need a taller but deeper bowl where I could just let this sort of naturally drain. But I'm going to assist it. I am going to assist it. Okay, what I, <clears throat> there's still so much juice in there. What I have decided to do is put this over into here to let it continue to slowly drain out. Okay, now I'm going to test this again before I actually bottle it up. Is very interesting. I like it. It has a slight, I don't even know how to describe it. You just need to kind of make it yourself and see. It's a little bit vinegar-like, but yet not. Let's see if this is going to be a clown show. <laughs> like earlier, as if, as if a lot of my how-to videos aren't nothing but clown shows. Let me see if I can get up here because I don't want you to miss. Well, sorry about, I'm doing so many projects, y'all. So, excuse my, excuse my mess. I'm just going to pour that in there. This is a flip-top bottle. <clears throat> still going to leave this some headspace, and what I'm going to did, there's that much in there, well, you can't even see because I had to tilt the camera, wow, you get what you pay for, people, all right, just remember that, I'm actually going to clamp this down, and I think I'm going to leave it here on the counter for um, a few hours, I'm going to play it by ear, whether I'm doing a few hours or if I'm going to do longer because it can ferment just a little bit more to make it fizzy. Don't we like fizzy drinks? <clears throat> mm. 
Okay, now let me tilt this this back down. Oh, I wish the lighting was better. So here that is. That is that is so interesting. Now I'm seeing this bubble up still some more. I will put a label on it. In fact, I may try to take this label off. That's why I love some of these labels that are self-adhesive. I get from Walmart, but they're the Avery labels. This one may not come off since all of that fermentation overflow. I'm very pleased with this. This is not necessarily a... I don't even know how to describe it. I'm not calling this like a soda like you would normally do <clears throat> I will put the date on which is 11 29 24 and I'm liking it I'm gonna do some more I'm working on I keep making up different flavors the wonderful thing about some of these is you learn them and I am in no way an expert that's why I say do yourself a service and a consideration and follow someone who's been doing this a while. I so appreciate that you're watching my video, if you are. But I did this from, like I said, from Mary's Nest. And also another one that I really enjoy following, again, is Rain, Rain Country with Heidi. Try some things now. I've got some other stuff in the works. Trying to do, this is a very good probiotic. Get you some good gut bacteria in here. Here is a tapache that I created. I may have said, I just finished drawing that up. This was apples, grape, cinnamon, and four cloves. I'm loving this. I love you guys. God loves you so much. He sent us his only son. Jesus, and Jesus loves us so much that he died for us. He died for me and you. I love you guys. Hopefully, maybe this will encourage some of y'all, especially knowing, knowing what a goober I sometimes am. I like to make people know if I can do it, anybody can do it. Seriously, anybody can do it if I can do it. Love you guys. God bless. Take care.